Hello there, welcome back to a tit Today uh, we'll see a really simple but you know it's really beautiful uh, animation. Um, let me just show you. Okay. It's it's really a uh, really simple. Um, it's basically a number of you know shape layers. Uh, you know with a circle on it. And if you see, uh, let me. If you see um, the 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 circle in the center, it move. It you know it rotates in random. You know uh, axis or uh, random values and uh, the rotation delays uh, from the center to the end and that's that's the logic or that's the key behind this animation um, so say in the beginning uh, it's it's here and now uh, when it moves to the opposite way you can see uh, the rotation kind of delays from the center to the outermost edge. So um, it's just uh, it's it's just uh, it's just done by using expressions. So let's go ahead and do it right away. So uh, you don't have any uh, layer yet, so let me uh, just create a new uh, ellipse tool create a new shape layer I have a nice circle and you can see the contents here and go to uh, you don't need any fill so let me delete the fill go to stroke increase the stroke width sit on five or three should be fine uh, let me see. Yeah, that should, that should be fine. And go to the transform layers. Make sure you put it in zero, so it, it's exactly is in the center of the comp. Now uh, let's go to the ellipse path. And uh, basically, can all you need is just a circle. So. You can pretty much use the uh, generate circle uh, here. Uh, generate. You have a nice circle here. Uh, you can use that. It doesn't matter. All, all you need is just a circle. Or you can, you know, import from Illustrator if you're just feeling, you know, if you need to. Something I don't know. But yeah, let's go get back to the ellipse path here. Um, Unselect the link so you can have X and Y. Uh, make sure it's uniform. So let's make 100 and 100. So uh, you just got a basic circle. So it's kind of it's kind of big for, for right now. So let me just put somewhere around uh, 20. That should be our center circle or center object. So. Now, uh, you need to have a bunch of shape layers. So, if you duplicate it, you get a bunch of layers, but every uh, shape layer has the same circle. Like, all um, the circle has the same radius. So, you need to change it. So, so what you want is for every new layer you, you add, you need uh, it should automatically increase the size of the ellipse. So we can just use a really quick expression for that. So let me I'll click it and let me type uh, index is the layer um, the index of the layer in the composition. Uh, I mean uh, it's just here uh, you can get the index number here. So basically the index of this layer is one. So multiply the index by twenty. Cool. Well, actually, um, okay, this is, this is a good thing. I always do this, but um, if you look at this, it has two dimensions, X and Y. So let me just, as it is a circle, I'll be, I mean, both X and Y are the same. If you, have, if you need an ellipse, then, you know, you got to have different values. But 
So let me uh, just call it x and put both the values as x. So what it does is it specifies both this and this as the same x and x. So um, now if you duplicate it, you see uh, you get a really nice you know concentric circles with different radii. So that's a uh, you know, the basic way to create a bunch of circles. I mean, delete all of those circles. Now, uh, you need the circle actually to ro rotate on an axis. Um, so, to create that, let me type an F4, make it 3D. Now, uh, as you can see, uh, I lost the circle because I'm in the top view. So let me go ahead and put active camera. So you know, it kind of does. Make sure uh, you have the right view. I always get confused. Uh, add a new camera. Actually, okay. Just the, any things will work. Make sure the camera is always in the bottom of the um, in the bottom of the composition. Uh, make sure you don't put the camera on the top because uh, all the expressions are based on the index of the you know the layer. So if you have the camera, it, it kind of you know obstruct it, 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 it. The expression just won't work. So make sure you have the camera in the bottom and. Uh, look, uh, if you see, uh, if you change the camera, now the the um, index of this layer is 2, so you see a bigger circle. Now if you put it back, and now you see a small circle, because it, it all depends on the index number here. Okay, now uh, you want it to rotate. Uh, say you want it along the Y rotation. So, you know, you just need to uh, have random rotation values. You can just have random rotation values. So just to do that, I'll click, and wiggle, say uh, two times per second. I don't know, that's, that's too much. Say. Uh, you need to wiggle like every two seconds. So let's put 0 0.5. So it wiggles every two seconds. And put somewhere around 200 degrees. That's a lot, actually. Cool. Now you have a nice uh, rotating circle. Now, if you duplicate this, as you can see, As you can see, um, you have uh, different circles, or I mean, different layers uh, rotating at different wiggle values. Uh, like because the wiggle values change based on the index again, so everything has like a different value, and you, it's just not what you want. So let me delete everything. Uh, Okay, now you had the first layer. So you want every layer to have the same wiggle values. So just duplicate this layer. Uh, let's put just so that, you know you have one to an order. Okay, now uh, let's go back to rotation. So you want this layer to have the the wiggle values of the first layer that's uh, the first layer of the composition so I'll just go type in uh, this comp dot layer actually uh, you know what let me just delete this just quick flip this thing to the Y rotation and remember, never use the layer names because uh, you you may you know remove the layer and add a different layer. I mean, add the same layer, but the the name is not consistent. So 
just put the index of the layer. What um, the index of the first layer is obviously one. So you know. So when we change that, you know, even uh, the rotation of the shape layer two changes too. So let me duplicate this. Okay, now we got a really uh, cool rotating uh, concentric circles, but everything rotates at the same time. You really don't want to do that. You want a delay. So let me delete all the layers again. Actually, except the first layer. So let me duplicate that. So uh, you have two layers, uh, shape layer one, shape layer two, and again you have two wiggle values. So to change that, um, what are you exactly going to do is say, let's pick with this to Y rotation. Now again, uh, make sure you remove the names because sometimes you know you just don't get names probably say you change the layer or something you just get screwed up so um, let's call this X so um, now this is the most important step so we need a delay so uh, we need the value of his rotation uh, say a couple of you know if say a couple of fractions of seconds before we need the rotation value of the first layer so that we, we kind of get a delay uh, you know uh, so we have a beautiful expression in After Effects that gets the value of uh, any property at a certain time that's the value of time value of time say the current time minus say a fraction of a second Say zero point one. Okay. Now uh, let's say x. Now, as you can see, you see a really minor delay. Look, uh, say in the beginning when this thing moves, the second layer follows the first layer, but it has a minor delay. So suppose you duplicate this. All the layers have the same delay, but we don't want that. We want every layer to have uh, a delay to the layer before. So let me just delete this. Delete all except. Okay, we have one and two again. So you want the delay to change um, for every layer. So the best way to change the uh, change the delay is uh, increasing the delay uh, from layer, you know, first layer to the last layer. So the, f the first layer he here has the minimum delay, and the last layer has the maximum delay. So the best way to do it is just multiply by index. So as the value of index increases, the delay increases. That's actually, you know, the essential trick of this method. Now, as you can see, I already got a really cool... Let me go to the camera just to show you. Look, you have a really cool you know uh, animation where uh, the circles have a delay in the rotation. You can apply the same to say X rotation or I just apply it to Y rotation because it looks good but you can try it with Z, X, a combination, the position or anything and trust me it looks great. 
So yeah, uh, we got our cool, so you can just animate the camera the way you want. You know, you can just go crazy. But, you know, I like wiggling the camera a bit, so let me just add a wiggle. So you don't, you don't worry about constant camera moments. Actually, my bad. I don't know where it took me. Say you need a uh, zero point two times a second it's in a you know, span of four hundred pixels. Now you know you get a really cool. Now uh, the number of layers are a bit less, so you can always duplicate them. So just duplicate. You can get as many layers as you can, and trust me, it looks amazing. So that's basically how I created the uh, effect. Now, uh, for the background, it's it's just let me create a new comp. Okay, let me put comp three here. Background is uh, just let me have a nice solid. Put in the back uh, effect. Generate advanced, uh, sorry, for the gradient. It's actually pretty easy. It's uh, a beach sand color palette. Say you want this to be uh, somewhere here. Um, this one a little bit darker. You can just, you know, you should probably just mess around the palette. And put it a little bit here. And change this to overlay. So, yep, yeah, that's pretty much how I did that. It looks amazing. And uh, let's go to, to add a little bit more fun. Let me just create this point and wiggle this. I love making things wiggle. <laughs> Say uh, 400. Actually, one time a second is a lot. So let me just put like 0 0.2. So you know, you, you can get a really nice moving background. Yep. Uh, so uh, have a great day. Uh, Hopefully you had fun watching.